Greetings, one and all. Welcome to NHL 19 Hockey Ultimate Team. Yes, we are here in EA Sports' brand new hockey title to open up some hut packs and take a look at what NHL 19 Hockey Ultimate Team has to offer. Now, some of you may be thinking, hang on a minute, how are you playing NHL 19 a week early? Your channel isn't popular enough to get early access. Well, first of all, you're not wrong with that latter statement. But to answer your question, I am playing the 10-hour trial that was released yesterday evening on EA Access. So if you have an Xbox One and you want to play 10 hours of this game before it's release, give EA Access a go. Free advertising. You're welcome, EA. But anyway, today we are going to be opening up the loyalty bonus packs that I have earned for playing Hockey Ultimate Team in the previous iterations of the series. Those games, of course, being NHL 16, NHL 17, and NHL 18. We have, I think, 14 packs to open up here. So let's get this started, shall we? So we start off with the Cover Athlete Loyalty Reward Pack. So we have one for 2016, 2017, and 2018. They include the Cover Athlete for each game, and they're an 80 overall card, so that's quite nice. So 2016, 17, and 18. Then we have some loyalty reward packs. This pack is a bonus reward for having played NHL 16, 17, and slash or 18. Thank you for your continued support. You're welcome, EA. And you get um, a certain number of packs for each of the games that you've played the previous iterations. I've played all three, so I believe I get 10 packs, which is quite nice. I won't complain. And then at the end, we have a lone legend choice pack. This pack gives a choice of one of four lone legend players between 88 and 90 overall. So, a new thing that they've introduced in this game is loan players. These players are uh, specific cards that you can acquire for a certain number of games to help boost your roster. This system has been a part of previous EA titles, such as the FIFA series. It's been very big in the FIFA series. So, it will be very interesting to see if these loan players become an integral part of the hut economy, or whether they become obsolete after a few months, because everybody's already got the players that they want. So let's start with the Cover Athlete Loyalty Reward Pack, shall we? So, an 80 overall Jonathan Taves. One item, one rare, makes sense, give me Johnny T. So, here we go, let's take a look, and that's his card. That's quite a nice card, actually, Hut Cover. It reminds me of the um, cards from last year, because it's exactly the same as the ones last year, isn't it? So, uh, 80 overall center, not too bad. Then we have the 2017 Cover Athlete, which is Vladimir Tarasenko. Good, I like Vladimir Tarasenko, he's a pretty good player. I do quite like him. So we'll have him on our roster too for probably the first week or two until I get some much better players. So Tarasenko, join the team. Oh, of course, synergies are still a part of uh, Hut, aren't they? So I've got to make sure all their synergies line up. So 2018, yep, we've got Connor McJesus. Wonderful. Do like a bit of Connor McDavid. He is a fantastic player. Wow. So he's got two synergies. He's got BU and S. Bus, also known as. Right, Connor McDavid, nice. We've got another 80 rated center. Join the team, bud. So, I think we should then do the loyalty reward packs and save the lone legend till the end. Because then we'll get a nice pull at the end. Even though it's only a lone player. So, let's go for this pack. So, what have we got? 15 items, 0 rare. Well, that's good. Let's take a look at what we get. Hopefully, we get something decent. So, first loyalty reward pack. We get the Cataract jersey. We get him. We get Carl Assel. So, a lot of silver players. Oshawa Generals. We get a, we get a jersey. That's good. A Chumatov. Jesper something. Uh, another contract, another contract. Uh, Matthias, Rotola. Okay, Dale Peterson, of course. Of course, pencil decks back. Uh, then we get Michael Brodzniski. We get a gold contract, another gold contract, and we get another gold contract. So, are we going to get any gold players in these loyalty reward packs? Because if, if we don't, this is going to be very disappointing. Let's try another one. Let's try another one. This one. Okay, 15 items, zero rare. Come on, you've got to give me at least a couple of gold players, game. Be nice. I don't just want silver players, because otherwise these packs will be useless. Freddie Tiffles. Damien Smith. I think he's a new coach. Thomas Greelinger. Contract. John Williams. Dawson Heathcote. I don't know. I'm not even going to try with their last names. Got lots of contracts. Johan. Hello, Johan. How are you, Johan? Maxime. How you doing, bud? And the LA Kings jersey. Okay, send all to my collection. I'm not really liking these loyalty reward packs, I've got to be honest. I really don't like these. If you don't get any gold players, then there's really not any point having these. I don't need silver players. Because, like, in a couple of days' time, I'm just going to have all the players that I need. Jan, Kostelek, Adin. Contract. The Quebec Ramparts. Contract. The Charlestown Islanders. Damien Smith again. 
I'm already getting duplicates. Willy. <laughs> Willy. Uh, contracts. Uh, Colton. Okay. Kevin Roy. Okay, so we did get a gold player, but he's with the uh, AHL. Kevin Roy. Okay, we've got somebody. John Williams. We've got a uh, 74 rated player. It's better than nothing, but I would actually like an NHL caliber player, please, game. These, these reward packs, man, they're much worse than the last few years. The last few years, I was getting, like, Jonathan Quick or something like that in these packs. Taylor Egan, Rasmus. We get a contract. We get another contract. Another contract. We get Marek Langhammer. We get a contract. We get Thomas. Hello, Thomas. We get Sean Kingsley. Contract. The Brampton Battalion. Oh, the North Bay Battalion, I should say. Patrick Reimer. A bronze collectible. Brilliant. And Justin Davis. Oh, these packs aren't very good at all, are they? I'm really glad that I'm ending on this Lone Legend Choice pack now. Okay, loyalty reward pack here. Let's take a look. We're running out of loyalty reward packs now. Please give me something good. I've got one AHL player, and that's it so far. I'm getting a ton of... There we go, Johnny Boychuk. Right, so we've actually got a relatively decent player now. 78 overall. I won't complain, because he, he's, he's the best one that we've got so far. Johnny Boychuk, welcome to the team. The Kitchener Rangers... Uh, the contract and the play from the Cougars, I believe. And we're still getting silver players. At least we've got Johnny Boychuk. That's decent, right? 78 overall, right, defenseman. He'll bolster my back end slightly for the first week or so. Until I unlock some better players. So what we got here? Another pack. We have the, the Guelph. The Guelph Storm? Is it the Guelph or Guelph? I think it's Guelph. I don't know. Montreal Canadiens logo. Lovely. Michael Moravic. Uh, Robin Grossman. We get another contract. Cody McLeod, yeah, we get the big man, love it, oh, we get a bit of a bruiser, lovely, uh, contracts, contracts, and Ben Higgins, okay, so we are actually getting some gold players, but they're not very good ones, it's better than nothing, I mean, I can't complain, to be honest, it, it's, it's uh, you know, you know, it's just like, I mean, I can complain, because in previous, previous years, we've got better reward stuff, Let's just see if these last few packs are okay. We'll leave our final judgment till the end. So, contract. We get Damian Smith again. We get the Toronto Marlies. Uh, what are they? Calder Cup champions. Well done. Bob Adams. We have Marek Herbass. He's not even in a jersey. He's literally just turned up in his sweatpants. Like, what's going on? Contract. Contract. Kevin Gilbert. Come on. Give me something good. Antoine Wedin. Or Vedin. Vedin. I don't know. And Garrett Bartis. Thanks, game. That was a great pack. Saw a guy in a hoodie for his bloody picture. Right, final three loyalty reward packs. Not really liking these so far, got to be honest. Okay, let's have a look. The Erie Otters. We get the Tuscan Roadrunners. Contract, contract. Eric Hansus. The Chicago Wolves jersey. Uh, David something. More contract. Andre Panna. Uh, Pat Canone. Oh, Pat Canone. That's the guy. That's like the 30-year-old guy, isn't it? That, um... 32-year-old guy that had his NHL debut last season. That's pretty cool. But, I mean, it's not really, like, loyalty reward pack cool, if you know what I mean. Right, so the penultimate loyalty reward pack. Let's see what we get. Hopefully, it's something decent. Please give me an 80-rated player. The Niagara Ice Dogs. Uh, Lucas Yu. The Victoria Royals. Another bronze collectible. A silver collectible. Yay! The Edmonton Oil Kings. Contracts. Maxime Shushko. Sammy Sandal. Uh, contracts. We get Thomas Ethier. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. And another contract. So I'm going to be set for contracts for a little while. That's the only good thing that's coming out of this by the looks of it. Loyalty reward pack. The last one. Can we get an 80 rated player? That would be nice. So we start with Nicholas Petrick. So this is going to go well. Yes, but Williamson. No, thank you. Another bronze collectible. Wonderful. Probably never going to use them at all. Uh, John Williams again, Lucas Van Turk, Patrick Klein, contract, contract, the Orsberger Panthers, and we finish with another bronze collectible. Wonderful. So, uh, yeah, those, those loyalty reward packs were awful, EA. They were really, really bad. I know that you're not wanting to give the, the loyalty players too much of an advantage by giving them loads of really good players early on. But you've got to give us at least some 80-plus players. Like, that's really bad, game. That's so disappointing. The fact that they've, they've said, like, we love your continued support. We love your years of service. And then they give us loads of silver players. That, that just doesn't make any sense to me. That's just going, we love you and, and giving you something, then slapping you and taking it back. 
You know, it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand why they'd give you such awful cards. EA, that's, that's a bad play there, EA. You should have at least given us some 80 overalls. Some gold rare players would be nice. So, Lone Legend Choice Pack. Let's finish this off with a decent player. Here we go. So, we get the choice of a couple of players. We get to choose between uh, Bob, Bob Probert. Nice. Uh, Ed Olchek. Uh, Teppo Numenen. And Al... Is it Al... If... Oh, Al Iafrate? Is that how you say it? Iafrate? I think so. So, I'm not really sure that I need a center. So, I've got a, a couple of centers. I could do the left defense or a left winger. Hmm, Brob Pro Why did I say Brob Probert? It's Bob Probert. I'll go for Probert or if if I afraid. I can't even say his name, so I'm going to go with Bob Probert. Uh, I'm going to go with this one because I can't even say the other person's name very well. So, Bob Probert. Join the team, son. Right, so we've got 10 games with him. That's pretty decent. Okay, so we have no unopened packs left. Just to give you an idea of what the store is like, you can get an EA Access pack which uh, guarantees two gold players. Um, you, I can't get any more of these. I think you can only get one, right? Yeah, you can only get one in the store. They have the ultimate packs out already. They have the plus packs in their own little section, which is quite nice. So 35,000 35, coins. Wow. Silver plus 20,000 and bronze plus 5,000. Then you have the standard ones, 15k, 7.5 and 2.5. And then you have a contracts pack for 20 contracts worth 8,000 coins. So a lot of coins. Oh, the pack probabilities are here as well. Oh yeah, that's a new thing they've brought in as well, is the pack probabilities. So there is a 34% chance in a gold plus pack of getting an 83 plus player. That really sucks. Wow. They're going to make it... Uh, by the looks of it, they're going to make it really difficult to have a solid 90 plus rated team this year. Which is, which is good in a way, because it means that... Not everybody's going to have, like, 99 rated players a month into the game. So it means Hockey Ultimate Team is kind of prolonged in uh, its its player. Or how many players actually play it. But at the same time, it means that people are going to be toiling away with bottom six players and silver players from abroad for most of the season. Which kind of sucks. It, it's kind of looking like they're going more towards the way of earning them through, like, the competitive seasons and uh, hut challenges as opposed to just pulling them in packs which i mean i think works in quite a nice way because it means that you can take away the um people that just spend loads of money to try and pull loads of decent players you still can do that but maybe not as much now we'll have to see what what happens and what sort of pulls that people get in what sort of packs um as the as as the weeks go on and as this game is released but there's, there's a few things I didn't like. I really didn't like the loyalty reward packs. I thought they were awful. I think they were really quite disrespectful to the returning users. I spent the last three years buying this game and you're giving me silver players? I've had better loyalty packs from other games of, of the NHL series and I've pulled like a Jonathan Quick. Like I've had my goaltender position sorted out for the entire year just for my loyalty packs. And I, I, I whilst I'm not expecting to have that, like you cut us some slack, guys. We've been... We've been spending money on your games for the last three years. Give us some decent cards, you know? But anyway, yes, I'm going to end this video here. So that's the sort of stuff you can expect from your loyalty reward packs when you start up NHL 19 Hockey Ultimate Team. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.